If you've been at Novi for a while now, you're probably familiar with an academic integrity policy. And starting second semester, we got a new one. But this new academic integrity procedure has been causing some controversy between teachers, students, and administrators. To find out more about it, we talked to the author of the new procedure, Mr. Combe. Um, so these are kind of a set of procedures that we've developed to manage issues of cheating or plagiarism. Um, traditionally, you know, teachers uh, tended to give zeros if students cheated or plagiarized. Uh, but there was lots of discussion about how do we ensure that we are still measuring what students have learned while also very clearly teaching them what it means to be academically dishonest. Staff members have a like a Google form that they fill out. They're going to put student's name, the incident, what happened, how the teacher initially responded. That then comes to administrators. We then kind of check that. We'll talk to the student. We'll talk to the teacher. We'll talk to the parent. Let them know. Here's where we are. Make sure everybody understands that policy that first time so that people are crystal clear on what would happen if it's another time, right? right. Um, so the first time is, you know, teacher contacts the guardian, the incident goes onto that um, form, uh, they get an incomplete grade, so, but then they do allow a redo, so the kid gets a chance to, to try it again. You know, the, the best consequence for you didn't do the work is do the work, like show me that you've learned something. They get full credit for that, that's fine. Uh, the second incident, same thing, we're contacting the guardian, we're logging it on that form. Uh, and we'll allow a redo again. This time, the teacher can choose to impose up to a 20% penalty. They may not, but they might. But that's the wiggle room there uh, for teachers. That time, there is a guaranteed meeting with the administrator, with the student. Um, and then we go over those AI, these academic integrity procedures, student, the guardian, make sure they understand where they're at now and where they would be if it happened a third time. Third time, same thing, teacher contacts the guardian, logs the incident, you get the incomplete. At this point, we have a formal conference with all the stakeholders. So now we would be talking about a meeting with an administrator, the student, the teacher in question, talking about the pattern, maybe the counselor would be involved. And at that point, we'll make a plan for that student. You know, moving forward, here's the plan for you. So I'm not saying that will be guaranteed exactly the same for every kid, um, but it would make sense to me that, you know, there's a lot of things on the table there. Everything as far as loss of credit, you know, for that assessment um, to, I mean, you can do, we can do suspensions and academic probation or removal of school privileges. I mean, there's a lot of things we could do and we would try to work through that as a, as a team in that meeting. Um, but probably the, the, the basics would be moving forward. You know, you've had your opportunities. You will get zeros moving forward for these things. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this video today. However, stay tuned on further controversy about this new procedure.